In March 2018, KASAT will launch its second rocket experiment road to the edge of space. It will be conducted on board the sounding rocket as part of the Rexus-Bexus program by the Swedish National Space Board and the German Aerospace Center. On its way to the upper atmosphere, the experiment has to defy the harsh conditions of a rocket launch. The rocket accelerates from 0 to Mach 1 within just 3 seconds. Immense vibrations occur and the hull heats up to well above 100 degrees Celsius. After 70 seconds, the microgravity phase begins and the experiment starts. The goal is to test a rover that would ultimately move along the hull of a spacecraft in microgravity and vacuum to detect damages. These might have been caused by space debris or micrometeoroids. First, the rover remains locked into place. This is necessary to protect it from the loads of the rocket launch. It is released by an explosive charge. This cuts a steel cable and the rover is pushed by a spring onto the surface of the test track. Then the rover begins to drive while adhering to the aluminum surface using electrostatic forces. The same principle makes a charged balloon stick to a wall. The rover will move a few centimeters which will prove that this technology works in a space-like environment. It might be just a few centimeters for Roach, but it's a big roll forward for automated spacecraft maintenance. To gain information about the rover's performance, it'll be monitored by a number of sensors. A camera on the rover observes the track. An accelerometer gives information about the forces acting on the rover. Distance sensors serve to analyze the driving behavior by considering the distance to the surface. A rotational encoder gives feedback about the distance that's been driven. The rover is connected to the rocket onboard computer via an umbilical, through which data and commands are transmitted and power is provided. For close monitoring, several cameras are recording the rover's maiden voyage to the edge of space. After two minutes, as the rocket decelerates by hitting denser and denser parts of the atmosphere, the almost forceless phase of the rocket is over. Once it is slow enough, a parachute is deployed, allowing for the precious cargo to land. A helicopter will recover the payload. Roach is only the first step in the development of automated spacecraft maintenance. Improvements on the rover, the ability to detect damages and even repair them will follow. Maybe in a few years this dream of decreasing costs and the risks of astronaut lives will become reality.